Hey everyone and welcome. So today's question on lead code is about checking if uh, it's a valid anagram. So well, before solving this, let me tell you that if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. We have really good content coming up in the next few months. So please consider subscribing right now and also check our Instagram page reactjs1. We have been receiving pretty good uh, response from you guys. Thank you very much for that and let's start with the problem. Okay, so before, if you don't know what is an anagram, let's go ahead and check what is an anagram. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging letters of different words or phrases. Typically, the size of the anagram, not typically, it's always, it will be the same, but the arrangement could be different. So in our case, anagram here, you see this, the exact same letters will be here but just it will be on different places and if we take a second example rat rat is here we don't have r we have r but we don't have t in the second string and that's why this is not an anagram if it was t a r it will be an anagram okay so a simple solution here would be uh, let's see this uh, a follow up that what if the inputs contain unicode how would you adapt your solution to such cases okay but right now we just consider a simple case so in this one what we do here is that return okay let me uh, talk you through that before so if i do a split sort and join on both the strings and compare it it's gonna match right so that's a simple thing but the problem would be the runtime complexity would be way higher than a good solution right so let's try to do it even though the runtime is not good but let's try to do it return s dot split we split it on every character and that's why we don't keep a space in between dot sort we sort it and then what we do is join so we would like to join it i don't think we need to do a join but yeah we are doing it right now but we'll see if we can just get rid of it split again we just do the same thing sort and dot join okay let's try to give it a try okay let's try to check it <laughs> okay if i try to submit it it still is going to work and okay it worked it's not the fastest solution but it worked right but let's try to get rid of join and check it if it still works so the uh, the runtime could be faster just want to give it a try okay so to uh, this sort is going to return a array and two arrays cannot be the same so that's why it's false but that's fine so we pretty much know that with join it does work so, but still it's not the best solution so what are we going to do here is that we will be having a different approach so we will maintain an object and this object will have all the key value pairs in it. For example, let's take the example of anagram. So A, we have a key here and the value will be the count of it. So initial count will be one. Let's say we have another value in it, which is N. The count would be one. Let's say we get on the third one. So the count would be two and so on so i think you got the point here and this is how we need to have an object right so in order to create an object we'll have one for loop which is going to go through the first string another for loop which will try to clear out so it's gonna clear out from two to one one to zero and something like that so if we want to implement that let's try to implement it let checker object is going to be this okay so first for loop is going to loop through the first string let s equals to not s but i equals to zero i less than s dot length i plus plus and here what i do is that checker object if we have s 
of phi. If this particular key exists, what I need to do, that's what I need to uh, give a condition here. If this exists, right, this is a ternary operator which we will be using. That if it exists, just have, just increment it or else equals to one, right? And check for the other one. S, now we have T here. And if it exists, what you need to do is you simply need to decrement it or else if it's if the it doesn't exist that's not the correct thing right so if it doesn't exist this particular letter is different and it's not an anagram right so we are going to return false here we are going to check that i uh, equals to zero i less uh, uh, okay i in we we are going to loop in through the object and check if all the items are zero right so checker object and i if checker object of s of i or we can say checker object of i if it is not equal to zero return false or else return true so okay let me walk you through the solution first we are declaring a checker object which is going to be an object in which we keep on adding letters as a key and the counts as the value so on the first iteration it will be a of 0, uh, a of 1, a will be 1. When we go to n, it will be n of 1, then it will be a of 2, then it will be g of 1, after that r of 1, after that a of 3, and here will be m of 1, right? So a is 3, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now what happens here is that you try uh, you just try to reduce the count. So what happens here is that n becomes zero, a becomes two, g becomes zero, and so on. So it's going to at one point it should be something like this, right? And later what we check here is that if everything is zero. We need to know that everything should be zero, right? And if it's zero, that means that this is an anagram. Okay, let's try to run the code. Okay, there is an issue. So what exactly is the issue? So we cannot have a return false here. So in order to do this, how are we going to handle it is that, I guess it's a ternary operator which we are using. So if this is correct just decrement it or else simply return false let's try to prettify it if we can okay i'll just manually add it okay so here what we are doing is we just uh, remove the ternary operator at least here and okay so minus minus if it exists we decrement it or else if it doesn't exist it's like hey who are you right so we just return our false here okay so let's try to run the code and there you go it is accepted let's try to submit it okay we have wrong here because there is one problem okay so we are not decrementing we were not decrementing T. So if we try to submit it, it should work. Perfect. So this is slightly better than what we had before. Not the fastest, but still better than 36%, right? So this is a solution which you might be asked in your full stack or front end. This is a basic question. Later, we'll dive more deeper into 
uh, more complex problems. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Take care and bye-bye.